Good afternoon, and welcome to Vessel Bible. In today's video we shall be looking at this prestige, and historical classic superyacht, Toledo. She was commissioned as a private superyacht, and then requisitioned by the U.S. Maritime Commission as a gunboat. Stay tuned to find out why. Toledo, initially named Reveler, was built in Germany by Krupp German Ia Wehroft, and was commissioned by Russell Alger Jr., an American businessman. Unfortunately Alger Jr. died in 1930, and never got to experience life on board his yacht. A year later, Charles McCann, son-in-law of business magnate F.W. Woolworth, purchased the boat and renamed her Shalina. The yacht changed hands again in 1940 when she was bought by Leon Mandel, part of the family that owned the Mandel Brothers department store in Chicago. Following the outbreak of World War II, and the attack on Pearl Harbor, Toledo was requisitioned by the U.S. Maritime Commission, and in June 1942 entered service as a gunboat. She was commissioned as USS Beaumont. Her main duty was to patrol out of Pearl Harbor. She carried two 3-inch guns, depth charges, six anti-aircraft guns, and a crew of 110 sailors. After surviving the war in the Pacific without any incidents, she was decommissioned in 1946, and returned to private ownership. After many years of neglect, she was finally purchased by the Getty family. Jean Paul Getty Sr. was an American-born British petroleum industrialist, who founded the Getty Oil Company in 1942. His son, John Getty, commissioned another round of extensive restorations, this time under the guidance of world-renowned designer John Bannenberg. The project was carried out at Devonport in Plymouth, and is considered one of the standouts of Bannenberg's career. Major structural alterations were made, twin Caterpillar engines were installed, and interiors were restyled with a collection of art supplied by Christopher Gibbs. The work was completed in 1993, at which time the yacht was renamed after Getty's late wife, Talita. Thank you so much for watching, and please remember to hit the subscribe button, so you don't miss out on my next video on Superyacht Mayan Queen.